हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज जावेद अख्तर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिकल रेशियो ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स एंड स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स फॉर अस आर 0 डिग्री 30 डिग्री 45 डिग्री 60 डिग्री एंड 90 डिग्री सो व्हाट एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट हियर इज वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिकल रेशियोस बाय कंसीडरिंग आवर let us draw first a triangle. So, trigonom whenever we find trigonometrical ratio, we have to find it out uh, by considering one acute angle. With respect to that acute angle, we always find out the values, uh, the trigonometrical ratios. So, in this scenario here, specific angles are 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree with by considering these values as our acute angle, we are to find trigonometrical ratios which are nothing but the sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec and cot. So, sin 0, sin 30, sin 45, sin 60, sin 90 degree value we are, need, we are have, have going to find out. Similarly, we are going to find out for cosec sorry yeah for cos sec uh, ten, uh, cosec 10 cot everyone six uh, trigonometric ratio which we have already discussed in the previous lecture now let us start so first we are going to find out uh, here we will find out first the uh, trigonometric ratio of 45 degree so let us draw a triangle first so it's a right angle we always we always know that we find out trigonometric ratio of a right angle triangle so let us our a consider acute angle is this one whose theta value is equals to 45 degree we need to find out this value trigonometrical ratio we need to find out trigonometrical ratio with respect to this acute angle okay so how we will find it so for this uh, we need to find out the value uh, the values of length of sides of this triangle fine so how we are going to calculate it values of okay so this one is 40, uh, 90 degree uh, we have considered this one as 45 degree it means this has to be 45 degree because both sum has a uh, this one is 90 degree that remaining is 90 degree so of course uh, this one has already considered 45 so remaining is 90 minus 45 45 now we know that when in a triangle two angles are equal then opposite uh, sides of that angles are also equal okay so this angle and this angle are same so opposite angle opposite side of this angle is this one and opposite side of this angle is this one so this two sides are, are equal it means this triangle is isosceles triangle okay so what we let us consider that uh, this a b value uh, we are going to find out first uh, uh, trigonometrical ratio for 45 degree okay so trigonometry trigonometric metric uh, ratios of 45 degree okay so let a b equals to a therefore a c is also equals to a as i have told you now uh, we need to find out this third one so b c is equals to from Pythagoras theorem a square that means a b square plus a c square so a c square again is the both are same so a square now 2 a square root over so a root 2 so this value is a this value is a and this value is a root 2 okay now we need to find out trigonometric ratios 6 trigonometric ratios and let us find out sin 45 degree we know that sin theta is always perpendicular by hypotenuse 
and perpendicular value is here is a and hypotenuse value is a root 2 so its value is 1 by root 2 cos 45 cos 45 is base by hypotenuse so base value is a hypotenuse value is a root 2 so it's again 1 by root 2 now as i have uh, we have discussed earlier that if we have the value of sin and cos then we can call calculate by using these values our tan value our cosec value sec value and cot value fine so we are not going to calculate in this way for the rest of the trigonometric ratio we will just use these two things okay as we have already discussed that's why we are not going to do the lots of work again so let us find out tan 45 degree tan 45 degree is nothing but sin divided by cos sin value sin 45 degree divided by cos 45 degree sin 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 45 is also 1 by root 2 cancelling giving 1 now cosec 45 degree cosec 45 degree nothing but the reverse of the sine so 1 by sine 45 degree so 1 by sine 45 degree means this one that means 1 by root 2 1 by 1 by root 2 equals to root 2 now sec sec 45 degree 1 by cos 45 degree 1 by 1 by root 2 equals to again root 2 so we got cosec we got sec again tan value tan 45 sorry tan already calculated uh, cot 45 degree cot 45 degree value is reverse of the tan 45 so 1 by tan 45 degree tan 45 is 1 so 1 by 1 is equals to 1 so we have found out the values trigonometric ratio with respect to acute angle 45 degree Okay, now we are going to find out trigonometrical ratio of uh, with respect to the acute angles 60 degree and 30 degree. So this is done. So we will find out now this one. Okay. Let us find out for the cons uh, consider acute angle 0 degree, mm, no 30 degree and 60 degree. For this, we need to draw a triangle. Let this is equilateral triangle whose each angle of course will be 60 degree. Fine. Let us draw a perpendicular from this. Uh, again, let us consider the side value is 2a. 2a and 2a. Now, let us draw a perpendicular from the peak to the opposite side, name it O. Okay. Now, as each angle is 60 degree, so all sides are equal as you, have, you, you can see here. Now, we need to find out this side okay first of all these two triangles just consider these two triangles that means ACO and triangle BCO both are congruent how in triangle ACO and triangle B, C, O, what we have? A, C equals to B, C. As it is equal to triangle, so sides must be equal. Another is uh, angle C, O, angle C, O, A equals to angle C, O, B both are equals to 90 degree fine another one OC equals to CO so as you can see three criteria has been satisfied for these two triangles so we can say 
therefore that triangle aco is congruent to triangle bco it means these two triangles are congruent therefore we can write what we can write that ao must be equals to bo fine so this two triangle two side two are equal therefore this will be a another one again will be a because this whole length was 2a fine now we need to find out this one how we are going to find out we know the pythagoras theorem we have a 90 degree so let us find out uh, co equals to root over hypotenuse square that is let me write it hypotenuse square minus base square that is ao now ac is nothing but 2a and ao is nothing but a so what's the value is 4a square minus a square equal to 3a square it is nothing but the a root 3 so this value is a root 3 okay now we are going to find out trigonometrical ratio so you got this how you, you have understood how a root 3 has came now we are going to find out trigonometric ratio with respect to the acute considered acute angle 60 degree okay before that what we are going to find out as ao equals to bo again one thing here that this angle are corresponding angles to angles so they must be equal that is angle ACO must be equal to angle BCO and that is nothing but the 30 degree why 30 degree because both are equal and the whole angle was 60 degree and both are equal that means one each one is angle is equals to 60 divided by 2 equals to 30 degree that's why these are so this one is again 30 degree okay now for 60 degree we are going to find out so for this considered acute angle which one is perpendicular this one is perpendicular this one is my hypotenuse this one is my base so sine 60 degree is equals to uh, as we know it is nothing but the perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular value is a root 3 and hypotenuse value is 2a so it is okay we got sine 60 now we are going to find out sine sorry sine is already calculated so we are going to find out cos 60 degree cos 60 is nothing but the base by hypotenuse so base value is see this is our acute angle considered acute angle so base is this one that value is a hypotenuse is this one that is 2a so sin 6 cos 60 is nothing but the half now by using this 2 we are going to find out the rest of the trigonometrical ratio so tan 60 degree is equals to sin 60 by cos 60 root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 is giving root 3 again cosec 60 is reverse of sin 60 so 1 by root 3 by 2 equals to 2 by root 3 now sec 60 is reverse of cos 60 cos 60 value is half that means 1 by half is equals to 2 now cot 60 is equals to reverse of tan so 1 by root 3 so it's 1 by root 3 now we will find out uh, trigonometric ratio with uh, ratio of 30 degree okay degree this one is my 30 degree angle so now our considered acute angle is this 30 degree angle so with respect to that angle which one is perpendicular this one is perpendicular which one is hypotenuse this one is my hypotenuse earlier this was our, perp our perpendicular with for the angle 60 degree okay so our sine 30 degree is equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular now is this one that is a this one is my hypotenuse that is 2a so this one is half now cos 60 sorry cos 30 
cos 30 is base by hypotenuse base value is our base is now this one is our base why we have already discussed why base so we are not going to again discuss it so base is our base is a root 3 divided by hypotenuse that is 2a a got cancelled so root 3 by 2 now again sin 60 is obtained cos 60 has obtained now we can calculate the rest of the four trigonometric ratios as follows tan 30 degree is equals to sin 30 divided by cos, cos 30 so 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 it means what 1 by root 3 okay 1 by root 3 now uh, cosec 30 degree cosec 30 degree is the reverse of sin 30 so sin 30 value is half so it is 2 sec 30 is reverse of cos 30 so 1 by root 3 by 2 so 2 by root 3 cot 30 cot 30 value is reverse of tan so 1 by 1 by root 3 is equals to root 3 so we have got our 30 degree and 60 degree trigonometrical ratios okay now we will find out 0 degree and 90 degree okay let us find out